Welcome back to our channel. Best of all, winter. I'm Max this year, and um, we went a bit mad. We had so much fun. The exhibitions were amazing. The artists were amazing. We got to see so much. So yeah, this is just a small haul um, to show you everything we got. I went to Meron. So we got this metallic powder. It's in number one two nine. It's called Copper, and it's just a stunning. Um, it's not even overly shimmery. It's kind of like a. I don't know how to describe it. It's just. It's just a loose powder that you can apply on your lid, um, just like the MAC pigments that you would just kind of pat onto the eyelid um, for a nice shimmery effect. Um, but when you add it to the mixing solution, mixing liquid it's called, and when you put a few drops of that in with this powder, it literally looks like liquid gold on your eyelid. You can create eyeliner with it, um, drag it under the under eye, it's beautiful. So um, I'm sure we'll include this combo in one of our videos very soon for you guys. And then after Meron, we made a small expensive trip to Bobbi Brown. Pretty amazing because we got two gorgeous palettes, so I'll show you them. So the first one we got was the um, foundation and concealer and corrector palette. It's like this bookcase kind of design, it's got all these gorgeous corrector shades, concealer shades, as in I will never have to buy a separate concealer ever again. And on this side, if I can flip it around, is the foundation stage. So basically this is their foundation, the famous foundation sticks compressed into these um, little uh, compartments here. The other palette we got was the same design, but this one is lip palette and same kind of concept it's like a book little book and on this side we have the um kind of browns corals pinks and a few plums on the bottom there and then if we flip it over reds browns and kind of roses and baby pinks on this side um so literally you can mix these colors up can use them as they are the other great thing about this lip palette is it also comes with this um kind of brush which looks teensy wincy when it's like this but then you pop it pop the lid on the back and it becomes a full size lip brush so that's really that's a really nice bonus actually i use their bobby brown hydrating eye cream on a daily basis absolutely love it i think it's like it's so moisturizing but it's so light and doesn't feel heavy on the eyes at all and yeah literally put it on after you've washed your face in the morning i use it morning and evening um daily love it so much the next product i picked up from bobby brown is their infamous shimmer brick and it, i got the bronze shade because i think it will complement my skin color better um also be great for our kit um they do a, another another shade as well i'm not sure what it's called but it's more pink tones and i obviously went for the more bronzy tones um and these can be used as like individual highlighters colors on the lid top of the cheekbones mix them up queued for about 45 minutes for the NYX stand so um, yeah we don't get NYX products available kind of in shops in the UK so this was really really good for us to kind of get my hands onto some of the goodies in there so so yeah the first product we picked up were these NYX um, color correctors that basically could be used to cancel out different things um, so the first one um, is a green one just briefly to ca help cancel out redness so like spots and stuff. The purple one will um, help um, kind of correct sallow looking skin so when it's overly yellow and you want to kind of bring that down. So the, the yellow one is good for cancelling out like purple tones so under the eyes if you've got um, kind of purple circles put if you put a product like this under your concealer then it helps neutralize it and it doesn't show the shadow as much. So the orange tone concealer is used for mainly um, kind of cancelling out blue tone circles. Yeah we'll show you how these work um, in our actual videos. So that's, that was that. Then um, I picked up this cheeky lip product, which I'm wearing right now. Soft Matte Lip Creams. And, and um, so yeah, it's called San Paolo, and it's number eight. Um, and it tastes pretty delicious when you put it on as well. So that's a bonus. Um, to match up with um, the lip product, quite a large amount of lip pencil. Too many probably, but love every single colour. They are phenomenal. The pigmentation is amazing. My sister absolutely adores these pencils. She uses them in her videos, and I think I'm going to start using them when I do tutorials on myself for you guys as well. Um, they're just great value for money, great pigmentation, great texture. I've got one of them under the um, lip cream that I'm wearing right now. Peekaboo Neutral, lovely colour. Honestly, it's like my lips, but better. I just the next product I grabbed from NYX was, if I can get out of the packaging, 
is um, ooh, glass two and brown. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna have quite a bit of fun using this, I think. Yeah, and I definitely can't wait to try this. Again, definitely would include it in a video so you guys can see how it works. I picked up just a sharpener because I have no idea where my other one has flown off to. These two products, now this is a shine killer and a pore filler. Okay, so out of these two products, I personally can't wait to try the shine killer because I get really oily skin and it's really annoying. Um, so hopefully I'm going to put it on my T-zone, I'll test it out and I'll do um, hopefully a review on my vlog and let you guys know how it works. So fingers crossed that actually does work. The next product I got is um, Torp. This is just a, it's just a blusher, I think mainly used by a lot of people for contouring. So it's probably um, a great shade for creating the kind of hollow in the cheek to raise the cheekbones. Can't wait to try this one out as well. So we also um, grabbed these eyebrow pencils by NYX as well. So there's a grey, um, like a light blondie brown, a dark brown and a grey brown. Obviously great to match with different hair colours. These are really good for our kit as well because obviously we don't know what kind of hair colour our clients will have necessarily. So you kind of, you know, great to kind of pick one of these um, to match with the hair colour. Uh, we also grabbed these Jumbo pencils. Now these have been raved about for so long and we got it in milk and black beans. We haven't tried them yet so can't wait to give these a go, um, especially the white kind of inner corners, highlights and the black to make colours pop so these um, will be fun I reckon. Um, and that pretty much covers the NYX haul. So then we went to Makeup Forever. So in this uh, Makeup Forever HD foundation and um, got these full cover concealers for our kit as well. We actually tried this on a client today. Oh my god, they were really, really good. It's just littlest, littlest amount and full coverage and no creasing. They are seriously really, really good stuff. So that was exciting. And then after Makeup Forever, we took a detour to Sigma, where I got these. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I'm a bit crazy. I already have loads of brushes, by the way. Bad raved about this particular brush, which is a Sigma Kabuki F80 for foundation. Can't wait to try that. Um, got this brush, which is the um, Sigma F30 for. Oh, it's so soft. Highlighting my cheekbones. Then I got this um, flat definer E15, which is. I like to poke in the lashes, top lash line. I got um, the E40, which is similar to the 224 by MAC, if you guys use that one. Um, great for crease work. Um, then I got the E25 blending brush. This is pretty much an exact copy of um, the 217 by MAC, but I think my kit needs two in case you know one's dirty if I'm using it on a client. And then my sister picked up, now hers are filthy because she actually went on a job this morning and hasn't clued her brushes yet. So this one is the E36, which is great for like detailed crease work. Um, the tapered blending E46, the same one that I got, she picked another one, even though she has about five already. And then um, she got the tapered Kabuki, which is the F86. So we grabbed these... Um, Shadow shields and they're for protecting like fallout for eye makeup. So literally normally it's good for if you've done the base first And you want to protect the base from getting ruined pop the shadow shields on just under there I think they have a really light kind of stick to them do the eyeshadow makeup Take the shield off and there's no like fallout and your concealers still intact. Yeah, we then went to Sugar pill this was fun for us because I fell in love with this color. I'm a little bit obsessed with um <clears throat> Anything teal anything turquoise anything Peacock. This colour is called Peacock, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, it's called Subterranean. Okay, so it's that. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's, it's It reminds me of, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Club by MAC. It's that um, duochrome with them. Um, it's like looks green and then you look that way and it's like brown and then you look that way and it's like green. It's just, it's great. But this one's just basically just the green version, which I don't know why I needed it, but called me. So I, I got it. Um, how phenomenal is this? Packaging! I, I'm a really artsy, graphic-y person. This is really cool. Look, Bav and I both picked up um, these pigments. These babies um, also calling us. Now, one of them 
lady was a really good saleswoman. She was like, oh, this is limited edition. It's not even on sale yet. And me and Bab were like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need this in our life. Okay, so this one's called uh, Goldilocks. And um, I can't say that without saying three minutes. <laughs> this is seriously really, really nice color. It's literally the, like the goldest gold and the shimmeriest and sparkliest gold with a beautiful texture. So yeah, this one's Olivia. Um, it's the green shimmery kind of mossy color. This one's really nice as well. Then this one's called Supercharged. It's this peachy, goldy, pinky, really, 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 really nice color. I felt, when, when Babs watched this one, I was like, wow, have to get this one. It's just lovely for like, I think for the lid, just to make it pop summer beach, bronze, with blue underneath, oh my god, so many possibilities. Then this one is Paper Doll, it's like a lilac purple shade. It's, um, we picked this one up, I think, because a lot of lilac shades, they don't have very high um, and opaque pigmentation. And this one, when we swatched it on our hand, it was really, really, really opaque and very lovely and shimmery and just really like pastel, nice for this kind of spring summer look. So. I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Um, also, guys, I should mention again the packaging for Sugar Pill products is really, really cool. I met the, the lady that created this brand and she basically looks like this packaging. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but she's beautiful. She's she's a bit kind of eccentric. Her makeup was really, really gorgeous. She goes by the name Shrinkle, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god. Okay, so I have dreamt about this product for five years now. I always thought I had products that I could mix with each other, um, like I have Style from MAC and I have Coralista from Benefit. Yeah, I couldn't. So when I saw that there was a NARS stand there, I... Seriously. Um, this is Orgasm by NARS and I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. Can you guys see it? It's got gold, really fine gold shimmer running through it. It's basically like Coralista and Star had a child and produced <laughs> this product. It's really gorgeous, and I think really, I'm so I'm so annoyed that I didn't buy it earlier, but I'm so happy that I've got it now. So you yeah, can't wait to keep using this one. I wanted to grab the Smudge Proof Shadow Base by Nars as well. That's that's what I actually initially went there for and ended up grabbing Orgasm. But wow, that sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, so but they didn't have it. So anyway, I'm glad I managed to find the blush that I really wanted. Then we, we were almost ready to go home, almost, and then we went past the Embryo Lee stand and had to stock up on these. We've got a good few of these. We use them for our kit um, as like bases before foundation. It's such a great moisturizer. It's called actually the Embryo Lee Le... This, I'm gonna butcher the French <laughs> accent right now. Let's give it a go. Le Creme Concentré. No. Um, I'm going to say it in, a, in an English accent, late cream, no, that doesn't work either, okay. I don't know how to say it guys, it's, it's the Le Cream Concentrate. Um, it's, you know, it's won awards, it's, it's the famous, famous moisturiser by them. So that pretty much concludes the um, haul. We bumped into a few other YouTubers as well, so that was really, really exciting, and bloggers. And um, yeah, it was just it's such a great environment to be in, you know, full of people that are passionate about makeup. So, and like I mentioned a few times, we will definitely be including these products in our videos um, so that you guys can see how they apply um, and probably give you kind of mini reviews whilst we're putting them on our face. Um, if you have any questions or you want us in particular to show, you know, one product in a video and request a whole look around it or anything, just please leave a comment below and um, we'll try our best to do that for you. Uh, really, really hope you enjoy, guys. Um, take care. See you soon. Bye. What did I say the first time? It sounded good. I can't remember. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, go. <laughs> but um, I got. The 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 the
Um, but Bad raved about this one. Oh. <laughs> You're laughing as well, give me tissue quick. No, seriously, I'm crying. This is. <laughs> oh, it's gone. I cried, I cried, I cried.